Benedict XVI shocked Roman Catholics and others today by becoming the first pope to resign since 1415. That was the year Gregory XII stepped down. According to a statement Benedict read to a church council this morning, after having repeatedly examined my conscience before God, I've come to the certainty that my strengths, due to an advanced age, are no longer suited to an adequate exercise of the Petrine ministry. Benedict's resignation becomes effective 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 28th. The 85-year-old pontiff assumed office in 2005 at age 78, tying the record for the oldest cardinal elected pope with Clement XII, who was ordained in 1730. One person who isn't surprised by Benedict's announcement is Tom Horn, co-author of Petrus Romanus. Benedict is officially counted as Roman Catholicism's 265th Pope. More significantly, he has been identified as the next to the last Pope in the Prophecy of St. Malachi, which was first published in 1595. This document describes the final Pope, Peter the Roman, who will nourish the sheep in many tribulations. When they are finished, the city of seven hills will be destroyed and the dreadful judge will judge his people. A Vatican spokesman expects a new pope to be chosen by the end of March. The Associated Press identifies possible successors as Cardinal Angelo Scola, Archbishop of Milan, Cardinal Christoph Schoenberg, the Archbishop of Vienna, and Cardinal Mark Ouellette, the Canadian head of the Vatican's Office for Bishops. At least for several weeks in March, the Roman Catholic Church will have no Vicar of Christ. Presumably, it would then be under Jesus himself. This is Steve Eastman reporting.